Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another update video. Today I'm making three of these. Three videos on three different subjects. Three different things, three different very exciting things that are happening in my life that I want to update my YouTube channel on. So the way that we're going to structure this is I'm going to, I'm going to jet around the city of Christchurch to three different locations. I'm going to have three different intro clips, just like this one, and then we're going to, at the location, get out of the car, set up my tripod, and just have a little bit of a chat about what my plans are for each of these particular things. Now this video, as you can see by the title, is, uh, well it's pretty fucking exciting to be honest. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys see me as a, a rugby player who, who actually doesn't play rugby. Well believe it or not guys, you can call me a rugby player once more. Um, I will be playing rugby once again. I have signed up for a team. In fact, I've signed up for my old team here in Christchurch. You know, back in December, or sorry, back in October when I came over here, um, I went down to the local rugby ground in Littleton to reminisce, to see how it made me feel. And uh, look, I've got to be honest, guys, it definitely made me feel some kind of way. Now, I didn't know how or when or, 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 or where that would happen. Well, basically, I didn't know how it would happen, I didn't know when it would happen, but I knew it would happen eventually. And, and, and what I knew would happen is the fact that I would one day play for Littleton once again on that local field, you know, that I did all those years ago, all those times. And I'm so happy and so excited and so super anxious, I'm not going to lie, to say that, uh, you know, last week I actually saw a... About a week ago, I saw a, a little advertisement come up on Facebook and it said the Littleton Rugby Club was looking for members post COVID-19 and that the subs were free. So what that means is that there's no registration fees. And the thing that a lot of people, you know, <laughs> it's crack up, man. It's crack up. Any sport, doesn't matter what it is, if it's amateur sport, you know, you're always going to be asking those guys, have you paid yet? Have you paid yet? Have you registered yet? Blah, blah, blah. It's always a contentious issue. But I'm happy to say that I didn't have to pay anything. So it's free. So I gotta say, Littleton definitely came to the party with that. Not only with juniors, but also seniors. Free subs, and so I got straight on. I was like, you know what, that, that is a sign. Everything happens for a reason. I was thinking about it, but I was too anxious to go down. That popped up. I went online, I registered. I sent a couple of messages to my old friends that used to be in the team. They said, yeah, come down. And Bob's your uncle. So tonight, guys, tonight is the very first training. The very first training that I've done for the Littleton Rugby Club in, I'm going to say, at least 17 years. <laughs> 17 years, guys. So, uh, you know, my anxious levels are fucking through the roof, I'm not going to lie, but all it takes is to get down there, introduce yourself, have a bit of a run around. If we're doing some contact, you know, make, make a hit, and um, I think all should be well. So I've got no expectations, guys, absolutely no expectations. You know, all I'm hoping for is to be part of the team. Um, hopefully, you know, if they don't have enough numbers, get on the field at some point. Obviously, you know, not as a starter, but uh, as a replacement. And fuck, it's going to be so. It's, it's it's sick. You know, it's just like fuck. All this anxiety. The main the main thing. The main the main thing that made me anxious about getting back on the rugby field was the fact that I didn't want to be found out cardiovascular wise I didn't want to be out there on the field wanting to do things but not able to because I'm not fit enough and at the end of the day you just got to bite the bullet and fucking jump in the deep end and that's exactly <laughs> it's not the deep end it's it's I'd say it's between the shallow and the deep end I'm a rugby player I've got plenty of experience I know how to play but it's a brand new team and it's my old team so the emotions are running high anyways guys I thought I'd definitely better Bring the camera out before I head down, and I will be making a second video to this, titled "Some Thoughts After My First Football." Well, my <laughs> first football training. Some thoughts after my first rugby training in 17 years, and that's going to be a pretty cool video. And then following that, I assume if I play this weekend, there will be another video, a third one, titled "Some Thoughts After Playing My First Game of Rugby Union for Littleton." In 17 years so I cannot wait for those videos to to, to come um, I did have plans of, of going over to the Littleton field just to like I said set up my tripod and 
and have a bit of a chat at location, but I'm not going to. So with that being said, following this video, I'm going to my second location of the day, which is a gym, a gym I've never been to before. It's a gym, the local gym of New Zealand's best bodybuilder. And I want him to train me in person. I want to learn from the best as far as bodybuilding and nutrition goes. So that is the subject of the next video. And uh, following that, well, who knows? but you'll see shortly. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We're playing rugby again. You can call me a rugby player once more. It's not rugby player reacts. It's rugby player plays. And I can't wait. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you I run the world, I run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane.